totally dull and rainy day. Apart from that, one of my render units died uh, last week in the studio. I had a lot of parts laying around and some parts from render units survived. So I decided to build a little machine from my home. Uh, took parts that survived, ordered a cheap case, built the machine and then I had an idea. I want to suggest a build for you that will cost less than a thousand pounds will allow you to start uh, rendering with GPUs and it will allow you to expand your system up to four GPUs over time. How does that sound? So a decent base for potentially big workstation under a grand. My render units are quite simple and cheap and that's what I used to build this uh, home workstation. Before we go further, keep in mind that this video does not teach you to understand hardware and how to build stuff. I will suggest particular elements that are 100% compatible to each other. If you are going to buy any other elements, apart from what I suggested, make sure it's compatible. CPU compatible with motherboard, RAM compatible with motherboard, RAM compatible with CPU, or ask any competent friend for help. Uh, the machine you've seen in the video, this one, it's built using absolutely the same base that I'm about to suggest. So, you want to get to VFX and you're looking to build your workstation, I'm assuming you might want to get into GPU rendering. If so, you might want to get four GPUs in your workstation, right? Not necessarily straight away, but you would want to have that opportunity. I'm not going to compare all the motherboards that are there on the market. I found one which can host four GPUs, supports up to 64 gigs of RAM and is cheap. Sounds decent? Decent. Z170 FTW. If I will go to Amazon, type in Z170 FTW, then it will be 255 pounds, which is not that bad. All right, that's motherboard. Next, CPU, which is not that important in GPU rendering, but still is important element of your workstation. So this motherboard can support up to four cores but decent four core processor with decent single core performance will be quite pricey i found a nice compromise it's dual core 4.1 gigahertz performance per core which is good because for instance cinemas 4d viewport benefits from single core performance not multi-threading this is intel i3 7320 processor and on amazon it's 125 pounds that's what I would put in the machine. This will be a decent solution for uh, quite a long time for you. All right, next quite important uh, element is apparently RAM. You can start with whatever you want, but I suggest minimum of 16 gigs. So two 8 gigs Corsair Vengeance DDR4 cards would be perfect for it. Let's Amazon it. Corsair Vengeance. 16 gigs all right so it's 150 quid but you can save even more money by uh, starting with 8 gigs for instance ram done uh, gpu this is a tricky question and uh, i know you probably want the top of the line gpu but uh, i started with gtx 980 with octane and uh, just to show you what, it, what it's capable of, I rendered this video for like a month. I'm not kidding. And uh, <laughs> let's take into consideration that I didn't properly optimize anything and Octane didn't have as many optimizing features back then. This time let's open eBay ebay.co.uk and if I started with GTX 980 it doesn't mean that you can't start with GTX 980 Ti all right on average it will be 250 quid which is not that good considering 980 Ti is a decent card for you to start with the reason I suggested eBay for you is that there are a lot of used cards offers Plus, uh, with eBay, you are super protected as a buyer, 
with in deals like that you know if it will come and it doesn't work ebay will refund you which is pretty cool so gpu sorted now we have to think about how will we power up all that fancy stuff again you can uh, save even more money on uh, power supply i will suggest something a bit uh, higher for you is something that it's better to have more power supply than less I'm always starting with 850 watts of power supplies and this can easily run uh, three GPUs at a time no problem whatsoever so 850 watts power supply EVGA one uh, comes for 100 pounds not bad at all storage is up to you i would suggest install windows and all the software on ssd 250 gigs ssd nowadays should be something around uh, 60 quid maybe even less and to store your works i would suggest uh, one terabyte hard drive which should be around 40 quid last but not least is the corpus i found this bad boy for uh, 65 quid it offers different colors black white I think even red or something I went for white because it fits this particular interior choose yours highly recommend that it's not sponsored or anything all my workstations are full towers uh, this time I went with mid tower which is a bit smaller I have ambitious plans for it and uh, yeah NZXT S340 guys all right so in total we have 1032 pounds so I guess my title was a bit of a clickbait but keep in mind that this is a solid decent base for a good VFX station as you go as you do more projects for your clients you can buy additional parts switch CPU add additional uh, GPU to your build increase RAM and things like that that's the brilliance of PC builds that's why professionals prefer PCs over Macs I hope this video will help a lot of you to start build your own badass systems the one I showed in this video is a perfect example of how it can grow it has 64 gigs of RAM GTX 1080 GTX 1080 Ti by the way it would have another GTX 1080 this is the one of the dead GPUs from my render form and with this one I just quickly tell you that story on internet I found an article that said that there is a way to resurrect your GPU someone on Instagram also told me that it's Linus Tech Tips uh, tip from a couple of years ago the theory is if you will heat up your GPU the soldering in it can melt and restore itself if it was the case uh, why the GPU died so I disassembled the cart, did everything as these guys uh, suggested, put it in uh, oven, heated it for 9 minutes, but it didn't solve the problem. Uh, but just if you're curious, google it. It's actually a working method and I know that a lot of people resurrected their GPUs like that. Unfortunately not me, but yeah. <laughs> Get, getting back to this li little boy so my plan is to put four water-cooled GPUs in it I want to make super tiny quite powerful uh, little workstation for my home so yeah boys and girls thanks for being uh, with me in this rainy moody day I was even lazy to you know set up the studio properly so we're talking from this weird angle hope this was helpful if you have any questions feel free to use comment section thumbs up if you liked it uh, subscribe if CG and VFX is something you are into and uh, yeah thanks for popping in see you soon peace <laughs>